Welcome back to Level Header Gamer, guys. My name is Joseph. Today, let's talk about Zelda Skyward Sword, the HD remaster on Nintendo Switch. We're going to talk about three different things. The Ambio, is it really that big of an issue as we made it out to be? Second thing, is the motion controls have the age dwell and with grace and how they incorporate it within the gameplay and if they're still fun and how the controller uh, control options that they've created. And the last thing, how does it compare to Breath of the Wild now in retrospect? Now, well, the first thing I want to start with is the Ambio. I'm going to make this very quick because I don't think it's that big of a deal. When you play a little bit of the game and you realize when you get into this kind of open area section where you can fly with the bird, you realize how easy it is actually it is to fast travel. From any of the levels down below when you're there, any point, any safe point that you get to will get you back and up into the sky really quick, no problem. So you're able to fast travel quite a lot. And even when you're in the open world, you can fly pretty quickly to where you want to go. I don't think it's that big of an issue. I think it's been... Uh, it's just a slight extra convenience as well as a figurine that you can get uh, It's not a required thing. It's not like there's no fast travel in the game period and that's the only way to get it uh, And that's all I'm gonna say on this point I, I think we made it to be much, such a bigger deal much big, bigger deal than it really is But when it comes to the motion controls, I tend to like motion controls in video games I have an oculus quest So I love the whole thing where you're able to kind of act out your actions but I gotta say, it didn't age gracefully, it's just more annoying and gets in the way. Mainly because there's a lot of timing, there's a lot of precise cutting to be done in the game. And even with the gyroscope and the motion controls of Nintendo Switch, where are more advanced than Nintendo Wii and Nintendo Wii U, even with the attachment they had, they're more advanced than that. They're not very precise. Not to mention for me, every about five minutes, the, the, the motion control, like when you have to reset it, it would shift over to the right every five minutes or so, which was really, really annoying. And especially at the end of the hard day, I don't want to be standing there trying to get a precise thrust and it's just nothing is working, nothing is accurate. For example, I never have that kind of issue with Oculus Quest with any decent game that's been made with like, for example, Half-Life Alex. So there, I definitely prefer the controls. The controls are not perfect. The biggest problem with the controls is there's no free camera. You have to press a button to get a free camera even when you're running around, but it's not that annoying because you're able to hold it down easily and kind of run around and see what you need to do. But the slicing and the tool using that makes it so much easier, I think is worth the effort of just having to hold down one button. I wish there was a, a mode for you. You could just kind of tap the button. You have free look, free look, tap the button. The free look goes away. I thought that'd be a good option to have. They don't have it. Not that big of a deal. But in terms of comparison, this is where it really comes into play. Comparison of Breath of the Wild versus Skyward Sword and the old school design of Zelda versus new school design of Zelda. It made me remember how much I love the old school design. I love exploring dungeons. I love getting new tools and see how I have to play around with it. Especially in this game where now you have control over your sword and your slices. You have so much more control of uh, things you can do which make the puzzles more interesting. So far, at least in the first like six hours I've been playing, I've done two dungeons. It's really interesting how they're implementing each kind of uh tool they don't mean the old school design of zelda and breath of the wild the biggest criticism there's no dungeons there's the they, you know even the ones they had the mini ones were didn't challenge you as much as these did and not to mention i didn't like that you got all the tools from the beginning i like the feeling of unlocking the new thing that you can play around with and the idea of being dropped into almost what's like a level and you explore and try to find every nook and cranny every little thing that you can do there but you can also see the inspirations from Skyward Sword into Breath of the Wild. And it's for coming from stamina, among other things in the game. They kind of You can see that the initial uh, climbing that you get in the game. You can see how they were inspired by the game. And that really made me excited uh, to play this game overall. Kind of seeing the Breath of the Wild uh, uh, inspirations. I think if they combined the dungeons of something like Skyward Sword and incorporated breath of the wild open world and kind of hey if you can think of it you can do it kind of approach i think it'll be the best of both worlds and it'll be a fantastic game but from what i'm playing right now with skyward sword i am enjoying it more personally enjoying it more than breath of the wild and how much i love the old school design of zelda games and not having your weapons break <laughs> i absolutely love it but i started this conversation to uh to find out from you guys what do you think what do you think is the the, the better do you like the more old school design of Zelda games, the new school design of Zelda games? Do you like the motion controls? Do you dislike the motion controls? And what are your feelings are about the MBO and the fast travel that it provides? 
i would love to hear from you guys i don't care i love talking to you guys whether it be two people watching this video or 500 people i enjoy having conversation about video games so i can't wait to hear from you guys what you think and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day but if you do enjoy the content on this channel please subscribe down below for more as we'll be releasing a lot of these conversations together you know whether it be impressions whether it be reviews whether it be leaks and rumors or just video game news we try to carry it on this channel as much as i possibly can as busy as i've been <laughs> forgive me for that take care guys